Hey guys, Jipper here, and welcome to whenever it loads. <laughs> we did this yesterday with Outer Wilds, so it, it might take a little bit to load. Oh, here we go. Welcome to... I mean, you guys know it's Pikmin. Welcome to Pikmin 4. Do not import. Pikmin for last game in the series as of now. One play. <sighs> I'm gonna be doing hour long or more episodes of this series. I don't know what my main goal will be. Uh, overall, I do want to beat the final boss of the game. I already know what it is. It's no surprise to me. Also, this one might retcon the other ones, but who cares? It's Pikmin. Yeah. Who knows though? Could be an amnesia situation. I'm thinking about maybe going for every treasure in the game. I don't know though. That is a good question. Look at these shenanigans. <laughs> now, the one thing I know, this first episode, which is the only one I'm recording today, will probably mostly just be the tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> 
Got you guys. Both ball. Okay, I guess not. It's kind of a weak jump. It's nice to have one in the way. Hey, where could the others be? Possibly. No. Hey, it's the radio.
But let me guess. Whip off. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that happened in Pikmin 3. Okay. I could go for the default character. I like the smaller characters. Okay, I'll go for that. Here I am. Planet Gaia. Hmm. Hmm. Someone in need of rescuing. Good question. Hale. Hmm. Uchi. Yes. I'll do the voice. 
As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out the emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps, well, it was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. Oh no. Oh yes, I've spent days sleeping out here in the rough. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had, ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. We'll confirm that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. If we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Oh, before I forget, take this. It's an official rescue corps tablet. Use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Tap up on this left side there to open and review your missions. You can use this app any time to confirm what tasks are top priority. I have some other handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions. But if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Now then, let's go find the SS Shepard. Right then. Do I see it? There she is! The SS Shepard! I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go! The plants on this planet are gigantic! Look! That's it! See that big hole in the ground over there? If only we could find a way there! Then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepard! There's something under that dirt! This is a perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. Good pup, Ochi. You're making the easy work of all that dirt. Almost there. You can see why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Hmm. This looks just like that other... The other hole we saw. Well done, Ochi! Wonder if the, these two holes are somehow connected underground. Looks pretty deep. We're just going to have to dive right in. Let's do it. That's the spirit! Here we go! Oh, it does look pretty dark down there. Burrow of Beginnings, sub-level one. It's... Hmm. Caves are back. I'm not upset by it, honestly. I liked caves. Just some of the designs in Pikmin 2 were... Oh my god, they were... Oh? Hey, what is it, Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Oh my! What a place to find the captain! That terrified in individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Jay! The captain comes from a long line of... This is no time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something! Get him, Ochi. Yeah, huh?
Phew, now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on so long. Okay, I can do this. What's your status, Colin? Are you okay? Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you're all right. Oh, you. I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepard of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself, Jay? Huh. Ochi's not supposed to obey anyone but me. Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. 99th generation rescue corps officer. She was saved by a rescue puppet's child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. <coughs> cool. Only four left. Sorry to interrupt, Captain, but uh, what were you doing down here anyway? While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and, and fell right in. I wandered around this cave, trying to find an exit, when I came up on those icky, slimy creatures. Hang on. Did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. No. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. Copy that. Huh? Is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Jay. Copy that is the rescue core way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? Copy that! Copy that. Very good. Excellent reply. That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential to our work. Okay. You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Ochi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. That was quite a rush! This is a very small cave, but... I remember this area. There! That's where I fell in! My word, to think you survived the fall from that height. More importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Excuse me, Jay. I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. Well, hey. I completely agree, though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. Oh. All right, Captain. The Rescue Corps flag has been officially planted. Now for the status report on all cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway, and no other individuals were found during our search. Noted! Then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did good work today. Well done, Jay and Ochi. I guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that we have to rescue the captain herself. Colin? You look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive. Of course. And good for you. You did it! Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. Uh-oh. 
Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. Famous last words. Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated. Yeah, huh. The spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. Mm -hmm. What? Oh no, will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown and everything's stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, ship's energy stores are now completely empty. Aww. So we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar? Yeah, Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. Treasure. Through thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet, I have deduced that they must contain sparklium. I feel giddy to have found a real life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. In layman's terms, Pretty. we should be able to extract sparkling from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard, those objects truly are nothing short of real life treasures. Hmm. Oh. I'm skeptical, but at this point we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance, so from this point on we have a new mission. Find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Perfect. Copy that. Apparently sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepard. Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. For that we can use the SS Beagle. We just need a good place for it to land. Huh? What's that over there? Oh. So shiny. Hello? Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. Yeah, it looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. Yeah, SS Beagle repositioning successful. Yeah, Good, our preparations are complete. Uh, yeah. Let's find that treasure. Yeah. See anything sparkly around here? I see this. What's this? Is it a treasure? That was not the right voice. Alright, Ochi. Good job, Ochi. Carry it just like that. Huh? It moved. I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? It looks kind of like a plant. Could this be that thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an onion. If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? I know what it is. Red Pikmin. Oh my, I think this could be a Pikmin. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they're friendly and helpful creatures. Uh, well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. Look at that! She's already bonding with a Pikmin. You've introduced yourself as well, Jay. And, um, Captain, how long do you intend to hide back there? Can you go? Is this what I think it is? This has to be a treasure. Just look at the way it sparkles. Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. Alright, rookie, press plus to open the radar map. 
you know, the plus button is opposite the minus button. Presence of Sparkleam confirmed! That star in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Excellent work! I'm going to take this auspicious star, it's a good sign. But, um, how are you going to move it? Uh, Ochi, I guess you... Oh, uh, this is gonna, this is gonna take some getting used to. What? More sprouts! That red seed-like thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it will create more pigment. What a mysterious life form! You don't know the half of it. This treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? Ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains that the type of energy we need. <laughs> Yes! Energy detected! Hey. If we can collect 250 more units of sparklium, we may be able to restart the SS Shepherd. No. But the SS Shepherd is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get it to run on sparklium alone, though it may be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. Oh. Then we m need to search the area for more treasure. This one looks extra shiny. Whoa, that's a lot of picking. I uh, might stop doing the voices, honestly. I see something sparkly way up there. Close, too close. I can't rush yet. Or I can't uh, charge my Pikmin yet, unfortunately. Plus a hundred. No, not the Game Boy. The Game Boy Advance SP. Now the treasure collected! We need to keep this up! Hello, hello. Huzzah! You two make a fantastic combination, Jay and Ochi. Thanks a bunch. Yes, yes, keep up the good work. No. The Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Hello? Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. All right. On the pole. Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It will flow directly into the SS Shepherd.
Hey! Nice. We did it! The ship's back online! We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing rescue officer. Excellent, Colin. Boot it up and see if we pick up any signals. I'm picking up multiple SOS signals. They could be coming from our lost rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. Then we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. Nice. That's interesting. This ship is automatically naming the objects? We encounter, we encounter unknown objects and elements of our missions all the time. So I had a naming AI, AI installed in our new ships. Apparently it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty, pretty impressive. It is neat, but a backup power source probably would have been more helpful. Yeah. I was worried when I saw the smoke reeling out billowing out of the SS Shepherd. Didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. I'd been roughing it for long enough. And there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. Now, tomorrow we'll focus on recon. So you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest, Jay. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. Alright. Was that the tutorial? <laughs> Only took me 40 minutes. Man. Okay. Alright, I guess this is everyone. I call this strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. Oh, hey. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of Jay. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown. The SS Shepherd is out of commission. Oh, All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue Captain Olimar, is run into some roadblocks. Oh, our first priority is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Oh, Jay, Ochi. Fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from here. Don't worry, we'll be available via the SS Shepherd's wireless communication at all times. So you'll have our full support. I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. Plus, you'll be in good pause with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Captain, what about our search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? No. no, we may still find him during our hunt for the other rescue officers. And keep it on our mission list, just in case. On that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Copy that! Hmm. You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps onto your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more more than useful when you're out in the field, so check them out when you have a spare minute. Now we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and s explore? Ready to explore. Which area would you like to explore? Sun Speckled Terrace. Okay, we'll do one day here, and I think we're going to double up on episodes today. We've been doing it for the other Pikmin games. Or we did that for Pikmin 3. I'm gonna do it here. Mostly because I wanna get to ex uh, I want to experience more of what this game has to offer. Oh! The onion's going too? I mean, that's, yeah, typically how it works. Onions.
I don't know if this is still technically part of the tutorial, but... <sighs> it's good to be back. Now I do know, unfortunately, enemies don't respawn in this game, which is a weird decision, in my opinion. Hello? Come in! Come in! This is Colin. Looks like he made it there in one piece. Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. See the clock at the top left corner of your screen? It's set up so that the hand will reach the rightmost edge at the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. Copy that. We're counting on you. Oh, you probably noticed that the Onion accompany the SS Beagle. According to the voyage log, the Onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. We've got a lot to do and can take all the help we can get. I think you could put those Pikmin to good use. Okay. Sounds good. Normally I'd leave one in there, but... Not many Pikmin here, so... Grow our Pikmin numbers a little bit. That's a pretty rock, isn't it? Doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. Check Captain Olimar's voyage log. One could mistake this raw material for si for a simple stone, but it has more in common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts down into a brown clay and becomes malleable. You should be able to find many applications for it. I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about materials science. We got our scientist back. I bet he'd be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now. Be excited to have something to work with after we find him. Okay. The onion stopped spitting out seeds. Based on life signs from inside the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how many can be put out on the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss. Alright. So the maximum we can grab right now is 20. Uh, what I'll do... Oh, yeah, this is a pretty big area. I know the areas in this game are a lot bigger. Wait. Oh my god, that's so useful. Okay, they don't just keep going even though there's nothing there. They know when there's nothing there. Oh, that's good. That's such a good change. The ball. Come in, Jay. I forgot an important detail. That is, you're going to need Ochi's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. <laughs> he has a sharp sense of smell, so we're able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their scents. Use wide open actions, then use L to ser select a search command. Oh, to begin with, command Ochi to pick up a scent. You never know where his nose may lead you. Rescue operations are a race against time, so put your Dendori skills to work to find our rescue officers quickly. Come on. You look a little confused. You never heard the term Dendori before, Jay? How to explain? Dendori is the art of organizing your tasks strategically and working with maximum efficiency to e execute your plans quickly. This practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years. But it's still a core tenet of the rescue corps, so take it to heart. Embracing the art of Dandori is essential to our work. You'll need it out there while searching for our rescue officers. 
To get things started, open actions and command Ochi to sniff out our missing comrades. Okay. Follow the scent, Ochi. here, eh? Look! There's a cave here, too! This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers could have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. Pikmin to finish doing what they're doing. Uh. Wow, motion controls are, on this are a little weird. I gotta get used to it. I'm sure I'll get used to it eventually. Alright, let's go everyone. See that? It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? Hmm. That substance is called nectar. When they can consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. Voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. Really are mysterious creatures. Can I turn off? Hang on. Okay. Okay. If you go to that spot, the symbol disappears. It's a very useful way to keep track of your objectives. Uh, what I was trying to do. Uh, settings. Controls. Twenty flowered Pikmin. Seriously, is there a way to turn off? Okay, thank goodness. I don't. I don't really like the motion tr controls in Pikmin. I wonder if there might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. Last frost cavern. I entered a cave to look for the SS Dolphin parts and a creature that defies the logic of space. It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. Imagine if there were Pikmin that had been acclimated to that cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. Honey. Take a look at this! That Captain Olimar certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, any time you enter a cave, you should take a Pikmin with you. Yes, his beagle can bring in bring the Pikmin. So you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be left out here, so let's return them to the onion for the time being. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, they brought back the old music. I like that. Oh, uh, man. Uh, but not the opening music. Marvel. 
Good boy, Ochi. He's picked up a castaway scent. Must be one of our missing rescue officers. Time to get them back to safety. What's this? That's not treasure. Huh. Treasure or not, it does appear to contain some sparkly. Might as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. They may be enough to help, even if only a little. Okay. Well, in that case... Pikmin too? Let's see. The voyage log says I always thought of Pikmin as plant like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Those Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water and creatures, but they also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water though. They really don't like it. <laughs> their bodies are made of ice? Who knew that something frozen could move around like that? It's incredible. Okay. I guess while I'm here. Oh, look at those yellow flowers. Girl, I think gonna have their flowers. I appreciate the extra movement speed. Huh? That seems like a lot of Pikmin. Is your squad bigger than normal? Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. That's pretty helpful. What do I lock onto? Oh, you're the only one who doesn't have a flower. So let's go, people. Hey, wait, that's someone. Okay. I kind of miss when they'd become pale. Honestly. Wait, where's Ochi? Right, he's carrying back that treasure. Okay, in the meantime... What? Just like that! Frozen solid! But you can break it if you hit it now. Give the order to the Pikmin or Ochi. Track of them. All right. I'm not even 
lot of fun, honestly. It, oh man, it is so nice to finally be playing this game. I've seen so many videos of people playing it. I, <laughs> this is one of the video. This is one of those games where I have actually been watching like gameplay videos of it. like it's sputtering? Looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? Okay. We also burst the hyper jellies. So we can get to this guy. We found a castaway! Hurry and check their vitals! Pulse, blood pressure, temperature, all within normal parameters. Looks like their life support system did its job. We can transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their ID badge. We <laughs> still have trouble with that. Huh? This onion is different somehow? Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it with the other onion. Hello, hello. You did it! Let's take a look at see what the ID badge tells us. One, no? Hey, this is... Russ, an inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. You can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. No oh, thank the stars he's all right. This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits in the SS Shepard. His technical knowledge will be beyond helpful during this rescue mission. Well, hey. Are you all done down here? Yeah. So, you can make your way to the exit. Yes, I can. I think I've grabbed everything. I can check the map. I also know these maps aren't randomly generated, which is actually nice. You know what you're going into anytime you go back. Hello, Russ. I could. I have a couple of travel treasures as well. Alright. Yeah, the co-op mode on this isn't too great, unfortunately. I would love to play through it with Jay, but we're probably just gonna stick with Pikmin 3, honestly. We might play Dandori Battles together, though. Who knows? I'm sure I synchronized your clock, Jay, but something's off. No? I calculated the difference. It looks about a sixth of as much time passed on the surface as you spent underground. Time seems to move differently in the, under in the underground spaces on this Whoa. planet. Not sure how it works. I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. Oh. What the hey, the onion sucked it up. Voyager log says that the white bulb is called Florlic. If we bring Florlic to the onion, it will increase the number of pigment it releases onto the surface at any one time by ten. Whoa, that'll be a big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more pigment. I already have enough. Alright. Uh, I feel like we should probably do a little bit more exploring today. We're pretty far from the SS Beagle. You know what? I have a solution for that. 
Huh, another circle of stones. We keep finding them in the most opportune locations. How interesting. Maybe Captain Olimar left them behind for us so we could track him down. Oh, no. Never mind that for now. I wonder if they're in this creature's territory. Oh, we should create a base here. Any Dandori master would tell you it's the most efficient way forward. But first, let's do something about that pesky creature already. Ochi, no! Ochi's tail is burning! Put the fire out with B right away! Move base. Hi, OG. Hello? No? Was this under construction at some point? Wonder who was working on it. I'm sure we could put it to get good use if it was finished. I need 30. Nothing I can do about it now. Um, guess we could keep exploring this way. You know what? I'll lead with the ice pick in now. You'll want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can eas easily escape your line of sight. When that happens, there's a handy trick for keeping your sights and aim where you want them. Press the R to fix your auto-target lock, and keep your aim focused on one target. That's good. Make targeting nimble enemies or aiming while you're in motion, in motion a snap. This guy's pretty big, be careful. Gotcha. It, it froze? Don't just stand there, now's your chance! It's like bitter spray. has the same kind of effects as bitter spray. Alright. No, don't worry about that. Um. Yeah. Uh-oh, the poor Pikmin got shocked! Tell them with B to wake them up. Okay. Well, let me grab more raw materials. I'm gonna grab these. Oh, and there's another flower look up there. Oh, thank goodness they got to it first. I can't get to that floor look yet, unfortunate. Yeah hmm, I can't reach it. The metal plate is raised. Oh? Barely see the other side. Oh, Ochi. Should I keep going or should I pause and use the restroom? You know, I think I've really done most of what I can do right now. So, um. Oh, wait, no, there's a. The wall somewhere? Can I reach that? Yes, I can. Okay. Right, I'm gonna pause and use the restroom. I will be right back.
Hello, I am back. Sorry it took so long. You got this, OG. Alright, everyone. Hello, you guys. Hey, OG. Fall in. Okay, once again. And then there's one ice chicken who isn't showered right now. Okay, okay. He'll be able to take it down, I'm sure. I believe in my Pikmin. What's up there, I wonder? Another cave, huh? Do I not have a go here? Ah, that's kind of useful, honestly. I don't mind walking on my own, though. Right then. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. 
for them to get that back. Crackling cauldron. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for reds here. Well, some of them aren't flowered, but that's fine. Alright, after this, I'll probably end the day. <sighs> hey, that was a product. This has been a productive episode so far. Two caves, in the first episode. We're we're gonna continue with the one hour long episodes. Oh. Oh, we can't progress past that. Nectar, I wonder. I believe this is that ultra spicy nectar that was mentioned in the voyage log. Keep that sample sealed in a bottle so it won't spill in your pack. There's a decent amount of ultra spicy essence there. It should be useful. Oh, seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items. Ah, open up my pack. Yeah, okay. Okay, got it. Are those Pikmin over there? Are those yellow pickies? Is this a new type of Pikmin? I should check to see if Captain Olimar's log says anything about them. Yellow Pikmin. Is this new electricity? Yeah. It is a pretty useful thing. Right, five of them. There are more over there. Uh oh. They're the best diggers in the game. Yes, he has. Hello, Ochi. But you know what else Yellow Pikmin can do? Sparkly, I'm Oh, 
This is a deeper cave than just one sub-level. Alright, let's watch them do this. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely a much longer episode than I was expecting. Oh wait, what's that? I hope there's like a treasurepedia or something. I would like to see what that treasure was. I don't care about you. Okay, <laughs> deeper down. Crackling Cauldron, sub-level 2. Okay, I've heard about these enemies. Probably could. Plenty of treasure. Honestly, I might, I may as well go for every treasure. There 
you guys keep going. I don't need to do this, but it just makes it faster. A lot of raw material. Keep grabbing him. Get him back there quickly. And I think that's an exit. Right? Probably. I'll take him back. Alright. I think we might have found another rescue officer. Let's hurry and verify their ID info. Watch out. Hang on. There's no rescue officer. Who is this and how did he get here? The ID shows that. He's a treasure appraiser. What's he doing on this planet? Uh. Hmm. I wonder. You remember the voyage log that arrived with Captain Elmar's SOS signal? Perhaps there were others who picked up his signal, saw the log, and decided to come all this way in search of treasure. Oh, Maybe they ended up like Captain Olimar, too, shipwrecked and stranded. That's my hunch, anyway. I'd like to think this appraiser is the only one, but... We should keep an eye out for more civilian castaways and be ready to rescue them, too. Chances are they're in danger. I'm officially adding this to our mission list. Got it, you two? Okay, at the very least, I would like to rescue all castaways before I beat the game. I might grab all treasures, I'm not sure. Hurry it back. Alright, it doesn't look like there's anything else. So... Okay. Return to surface. And now I have yellows. Schnauz. A lot of sparkleium discovered. All right. This has really been a long episode, huh? Honestly, I'm probably sacrificing a uh, brilliant diamond upload for this, which I'm okay with. I said it was nice to be back, and it is! What's the problem? Oh, I see, the Pikmin won't follow you onto the surface. Come on. Yeah, there are limits to how many and what types of Pikmin you can have out on the surface at any one time. Don't worry about the rest when you choose which Pikmin to take. Yeah, the remaining Pikmin will go back to the Onion with the SS Beagle. Uh, yeah, ten of each soon. Sounds good. No. There are so many types of Pikmin! Yes, there are. Okay, now what? Let's 
see. What else can I do in this last little bit of time before the end of the day? I could have them... Oh, look at the time! An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make it back to the base before it gets dark. According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, picking will be safe as they make it back to the area around this area around the base. Oh, Seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. They're not really separated. These are not stray Pikmin. These are my Pikmin. And once they break down this gate, this episode's over. Or the day's over. I'm or when the day ends. Either way. They should be able to make it back. Well, that's all I want to do today. Yes, I'm ready. Alright, well. That was a long episode of Pikmin. Partially because I needed to use the restroom midway through, but uh, whatever. We got a lot done in one day, though. Hmm. Wait for it to... Day two rescues two two rescues today. Discovered a lot of sparkling. Twenty four percent done with this on Speckled Terrace already. Right. Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> of course, Captain. I know that's the emergency escape system I developed would function perfectly. That may be, but it would have been helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, can you tell us if we you came across any rocks like this before we found you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Colin, 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 not only did I see them, I already completed very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, the rocks become soft and malleable, reshaped into any form you desire. Face properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Cool. Mackey. Cool doesn't even begin to describe it. This is the one! The ultimate biomass I've been searching for my entire career! Currently upgrading the 3D printer so we can put this miracle material to use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. It will be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building that, need, that might, needs that oh. might arise. What a spectacular update, Russ. I knew bringing along a material scientist would be the key to our success. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual now that you're here. Uh. We should be able to find our rescue officers more quickly as well. Hello? Speaking of which, we've also discovered a few castaways beside our own rescue officers and Captain Olimar. There may be more. What should we do about them, Captain? Oh, There's only one thing we can do. Rescue them, no matter how many are out there. Oh, right. And once they're here, I'm confident you'll take good care of them, Colin. Right. Copy that, Captain. Another task for the to-do list. All right. Right, well, that's about it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.